Hi everyone, I'm doing a viewer question today. It's from Jeff B. Jeff, you have asked, been practicing Law of Attraction for about three months now and recently found your channel a few weeks back. Keep doing what you're doing. It's amazing work. Thank you, Jeff. I will do that. <laughs> I was wondering if you would make a video about our dream state. Neville says we create in our dreams, but Abraham says we don't. Actually, Abraham does say that we do. So Abraham says what you think, what you feel, and what manifests in your day life, 3D world, is a perfect vibrational match. And what you think, what you feel, and what manifests in your dream state is also a perfect vibrational match. So you do manifest in 3D, living in this world, and also in your dream world, okay? So, just wondering what you think. Another question, so yeah, what I think is often, as you probably know, say you're going through something in your real life, everyday life, and you are stressed about it, you're worried about it, you've been thinking about it, you've been focusing on it, you'll often have bad dreams. It's like an echo. It's like whatever you're focused on, remember it's a focus-based universe, so whatever you focus on is what gets outpictured. And if you go into nighttime worrying about something or you're tossing and you're thinking about something, you're disturbed by what someone said or you're disturbed by what you watched on TV or you're upset about something that happened at work or something that's happened with a family member or a specific person and you take that into sleep, often you have scary dreams or negative dreams about sometimes the same thing or sometimes it's an unrelated thing but it's still that same feeling that you're dragging through the fear fear of loss fear of people not liking you fear of abandonment all those things okay so jeff you've asked here Another question I know a lot of others might have as well is do our manifest manifestations have an expiry date? What I mean by that is we say we did all our practices for a couple of months and we didn't see any results and so then realize we need to let go. Will we need to do our practices now again or will they all come full charge now? Okay, so... If you do your practices for a couple of months and you don't see a result and then you realize you need to let go, that's fine. I think sometimes you've got to let go of white knuckling it, having that grip on things. It's fine to imagine, it's fine to live in the end and it's fine to continue to do practices. But I hear a lot via email and in the coaching people saying, you know, I've been doing all this stuff and I'm exhausted mentally. You can't manifest things when you're exhausted mentally or physically, okay? You've got to remember that exhaustion is a very negative state. It's a very low vibe. So you've got to be feeling like you're not exhausted. You've had enough sleep. You're rested. You feel at peace. Because when you're rested, you feel relaxed. When you're rested, you feel at peace. So you need to be in that state. Okay. So you're saying if I didn't see any results and then realize we need to let go, will we need to do practices now and again or will they all come full charge now? Well, it depends. It depends on whether you've accepted that it's done and you believe that it's happening, okay? Often people let go and stop doing practices, which is fine, but if you let it go because you thought, I've had enough of this and I don't believe this is going to work, then no, it probably won't manifest because remember the beliefs trump everything. Your state of being, meaning how you feel, think, what goes out, is your state of being. So therefore... You could be doing all the practices for three months, but you don't believe it. And then you let it go because you're tired and exhausted, but you haven't come to that acceptance that Neville talks about, Neville Goddard. So I'm going to put down below the link to Sammy's question for you, Jeff, because I don't know if you've seen it, but it is how Neville really describes, apparently, I've heard this too, that it's not a Neville reading, but... Whether it is or it isn't, it's a very good reading, whoever wrote it, about how to have acceptance, how, if things aren't manifesting, why, and what you can do about it. And it's very good. The mechanics of this is very good. So 
have a look at that. So manifestations, do they have an expiry date? I like how you ask that. Well, no, because you can create something today and it won't manifest for a week, a month, six months, a year, six years, ten years. I interviewed a woman once for one of my books and she wanted a house and her husband was dead against moving and he was a stick in the mud for 10 years. And then she finally managed, her and her daughter kept imagining, kept imagining that he would finally let go of this house and move into a nice house because it was an old rundown house. And 10 years later, that manifestation came true. She never let go of it, but she saw that there was the obstacle of her husband and the thinking. So, you know, it can happen years later often when you've let go of it in this particular case the lady hadn't let go of it she just you know wanted it and wanted it and wanted it and wanted it maybe if she'd lived from the end result because I know she didn't her desire was strong but she was still living in the problem of her husband saying no her husband saying no her husband saying no and I know that that would have been a handbrake for her so no I don't think manifestations have a expiry date I think if something doesn't manifest, it is because you don't believe, it is because you don't accept, it's because you don't feel good enough, it's because you've thought, I give up, I can't do this, or, you know, just there is something in you, because remember, manifesting or not manifesting, or creating or miscreating, as in getting something that you don't want, is all you. It's everything and everyone is you pushed out, you see. So remember that you can manifest things and you have to keep dismantling and dissolving whatever beliefs you have that don't support it. You have to dismantle the neediness. You have to dismantle the when am I going to get this? How am I going to get this? Because that's not your department. That's the universe's job. And Neville says it, that everything has its appointed time. And you have to allow the cycle to take place. And part of that cycle is you being happy without it, living in the state of the wish fulfilled. I have it. I love having this. I'm relaxed. I'm at peace. I love, I love, I love, I love. You're no longer bothered by it or traumatized by not having this thing. I have to have that for me to be happy. You've let go of that childlike state and you can be happy with or without it. And once you get to that place, that's usually when it comes. And Abraham Hicks talks about that a lot. So, Jeff, I hope that helps and lots of love. And I do hope that uh, you go on to manifest and that you now know there is no expiry date.